Here, I'll hold your base. I got it. You have the VHS? The, yeah. Okay, so this VHS for you dudes and dudettes, this is what they used to look like. <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah, look at that. You, but, you've watched it a little. Oh, it's at the end, dude. It's at the you end. watched it. There we go. <laughs> oh, super bass solo techniques. Super bass solo techniques. But on this video, Victor plays this groove that I have been fantasizing about for uh, forever and a day. I think maybe it started out just as sort of like a groove. A groove that he used to play with his band, yeah. Yeah, and it's funky, and it's gonna get that double thumb going, slap groove. It's one of my very favorite things that he's ever done. Yeah, so check it out. Zubas, dude. Hypercolor, Zubas, 92. What's a Zuba? Okay. Is that the pants? Yes. The tremolo in the bass, dude? Okay, stop it. Let me ask you this question. <laughs> so Is this things. your favorite Victor Wooten tone? 100% yes. Because, like, for me, it never got better than this. And, like, I hate to say it, but I'm, I'm just not into... Can I say this on a video? I don't know. Oh, sorry, Victor. <laughs> I am not into his, his, his tone in like recent years. Like ever, all of the stuff that he's done, yeah. for me, never. It was this was the tone. We have to talk about the tremolo. Oh, the Carla tremolo, yeah. 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 This yeah. dude's got a whammy bar on the bass right now. Does he have the whammy bar anymore? I don't think he does. Do I he? don't know. Maybe that's where the tone Maybe that's came the from. Secret, dude. That's the secret tone <laughs> came from the whammy bar. <laughs> Learning that bass line had a huge impact on my playing. So we really think that it's worth learning this bass line. We put a PDF workbook together for you. It's in the link in the description. It's absolutely free. Learn it. You will be surprised at how much this will level up your game. And notice as well when he's playing this groove, because we were watching this before. Yeah. Notice that when he starts out, he's doing this sort of like, um, here I am throwing myself in the sword right here, right? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, he's plucking those. He's plucking. But then he does that a few times around and then he starts going. And starts yes. up. All ah, thumb. All thumb. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm. Should we just break down this groove? Because yeah. I didn't know how to play this like a few months back and then Ian came down, um, or over, came over, yeah. and, um, and showed me how to play it. The cool thing about this groove is Victor is using that double thumb thing. So even in that bridge, Right, using the yeah. thumb yeah. as the thing that's always gonna go down and up, right? So in the main groove. Is that all thumb? Yeah. Well, check but, it out. The, yeah. the reason I started out going here I just think focusing on one note with this thing, if you want to get this down, take one note. Yeah. Right? If, we're, if I'm just playing a C, I'm running through the string, slightly changing that angle. We go through this a lot in depth in the uh, slap, accelerator. slap accelerator. I can't do what you do on that bit. It's worth saying that though, isn't it? So when I do, I go, I can't, can't get, get under it. I can't get under it. There's you gotta go behind the I have behind to go the here. Keyboard. Yeah. And all that to say that, you know, I'm like 45 this year and I just started this technique in the last 
year, 18 months or something because like that. Because you were so down thumbing I was and down, bouncing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I was Which is awesome. Thing, yeah. It's still cool. Like down thumbing for that flea stuff, right? But for the Victor thing. Yeah, it, yeah it's, it's worth saying that actually. If like you, you can't do the up thumb. If, you, if you're playing thumb down like flea would. Like you'd be able to play the riff. That's cool. But it, you're not going to be able to do the up thumb thing. Right. There we go. I'm not going to be able to do that. Well, and it's the thing of like that. Like getting those. Oh. That vibe that he has, that's like just this relentless train. I love that. Yeah. It's all up that, yeah, right? Yeah, it's up thumb. Yeah. And you just, you could do it this, you know. Like Flea would do that. Yeah. And that's cool too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just like, like less versus, I don't know. I think this way, like the up down thumb seems funkier to me. So even just taking something like that thing he does in the bridge and getting the one and up, right? One and up. Just before you try to get. Yeah, yeah. But should we get into it? Yeah, and before we get into it, we've done all of the tavern notation for you. So there's a link in the description. It'll take you over to page and you can grab the PDF from there so you can follow this all along and you can even print it off at home and stuff like that and work on it. You take it. Yeah, okay. You taught it to me. Let's see. The whole thing is based on that, right? So even if I slow it down slower, we're gonna play hammer on from D to E and then a E string and then a dead left hand slap. And then hammer on again, dead thumb, dead thumb on the D string and then a pull on G. I don't, I don't, I don't actually know how I play this. Ah. No, but the first way you did that, dude, that's cool. Um. Yeah, but you played this. Oh, yeah, you And that's okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But if you want to go all, so you can, you can pluck the G. But the Victor thing that he gets into later that I think you might want to try is that. So slow. Yeah. Do that again. Yeah, that the Yes. That's hard for me actually. Getting the within left hand slap. Groove, yeah, within that groove, so it's going. So there's yes. a left hand slap there as well. So Yes. That's it. Those left hand slaps. They're a bitch. They're, <laughs> they're tricky. They're so tricky. Yeah. And with that left hand slap, check this out. Exa do that again. And so see, Scott's even ha even has his first finger laid down here. This is how I kind of tried to get used to it. Just yep. by doing that, just to get the movement down. Yes. You know. And so what it is, if you're working on that too, it's not, I see a lot of people when they start out, I was the same, I'm hitting too hard and I'm leaving pressure and then it frets a note. And it's not that. Yeah. It's like you have to, you basically have to hit the strings with your palm, not your palm, your fingers, and then immediately let up so that it's not fretting the note. Not that, but letting up enough pressure so that it doesn't fret the note, but it leaves the fingers down on the string so you don't get this. Yeah. Because it's not, it's not this. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's really difficult. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Gotta get it in there somewhere, baby. Uh, so, <laughs> so, and the rest of it, let's take them through the rest of yeah. it. So, this is why we told you to get the PDF right, so you can follow along. So, and then it just plays the D. D. Yep. And then the same. Yep. D flat. Yes. And then. And I will yeah. say, in this moment, there's a lot of variation to what Victor does in this moment. Yeah. yeah. Could be that. Could yeah. be all thumbs through there. But essentially, the shape of the line. <laughs> and sometimes yeah. you'll see what we do in those. You know, we'll. You know. Yeah, the shake. Oh, the you shake sound good it. on that. Dudes, <laughs> if you haven't got the download, there's a link in the description. You can get it yeah. uh, from there as well. Yes, you can. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Take it easy. Bye.